Happy Friday. So, uh, she ran well for a while, but I ran into another problem. Luckily, it didn't take me too long to find out that I have a short, uh, which kind of makes sense because, uh, I mean, if that uh, transistor was powering that solenoid nonstop, that wire was probably getting warm. And the, the short I found is in this wiring harness, which moves. So, and that's, uh, this wiring harness is very similar to the wiring harness back here for the carriage. And I replaced that over a year ago. Uh, so yeah, have a short net wire. Should be a simple fix, but I don't have time for that now because we got all this, these booklets to, to stitch and mail out. It's Friday, it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be an easy day, but not today. It's gonna be a busy one. Spoiler alert, need a new fuser on this bad boy. Luckily I had a spare in the shelf here. I have an old fuser that I've been pulling parts off of. Uh, and I put that in there. The spare has a nick in it, but uh, as long as you're doing light coverage, it's no big deal. So we're still running. Old 1070 has been running like a champ. I am prepared though. I just got a bunch of stuff on hand because I know there's gonna be two drums that are gonna to need to be replaced here soon. I got the developer, I got one developer unit. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna to need to replace the developer in the black. Uh, and I've heard multiple people say, if you need to replace the developer on these machines, you do the unit as well. I got extra wires and I have a, what is it, a 400K PM kit that has the intermediate transfer belt uh, second transfer, a couple rollers, cleaning blade, things like that. It's good to have that stuff on hand. And I actually need to get a couple things for the 1200 too, just to have it on hand so that when something fails, I can throw it in and we can just keep on running now that I don't have service for either of these. Okay, now that that's done, let me show you how I figured this thing out. Okay, so this said uh, it would pull a cover in, it wouldn't give a code or anything, it would just stop. And I'd have to, you know, hit the green button and reboot it. But I was in here watching and it would blink and all the modules would turn off. What I did to test it is I disconnected it, just the solenoid wires and I tested every solenoid that's on that module like five of them they all worked fine and if I disconnected the solenoid to the cover feeder that one worked fine too and I tested the voltage and it would deliver 24 volts so I disconnected the wire that goes to the solenoid and I unplugged the other wire it's these thicker gray and black wire and uh, I just did a, a simple continuity test uh, so these wires are either going to be grounded to the frame if the wire rubbed through and is now on the frame, which is not the case because it should be beeping now if that were the case. Uh, or 
if I tested the continuity between them both, uh, that means that those wires are touching each other somewhere. And you gotta be careful too, you need to make sure you unplug the solenoid. Because if you keep the solenoid plugged in, it's gonna test uh, with continuity, but that's how solenoids work. Um, so, once I had that figured out, I just gator clipped those on there. And you can hear that beeping. And uh, I just moved this back and forth. And there's a spot here, all oh, right there, where it actually disconnects which is how it should be all the time. There should be no continuity on that. So this wire needs to be replaced. I'm not gonna bother ordering uh, the wiring harness. It's just two wires. I have some wire laying around here. I'm gonna solder in here and hopefully uh, we should be up and running. Dressed her up with some zip ties. I think we'll call it good. My shrink tubing, tubing was too small for up here, so I just had to use some electrical tape, but we're good down here, so I think it should work. Let's unplug this and just test it first. Perfect. It's open that would have been closed with the old wire. So, this should work. Got it. Boy, that's a good feeling. So now, she's all cleaned up, she's ready to roll. So next week we're gonna perfect find some books, we'll run her. I think she's good now. I mean, it's pretty common when one part fails that correlating parts can potentially fail. Uh, it's tough to tell whether or not the short blew the transistor or the blown transistor uh, shorted the wires. But uh, I think it's good to go. We're gonna run it for a while next week. Got maintenance to do on the Konica machines. One or two of them, I don't know, we'll see. Anyways. Stick around, come back next week, you'll find out. All right, see you then.
Well, there's the problem, lady. Goodness. That's all beat up. <laughs>